we're going to make the first coil from the clay of the wall so that the appendage doesn't have an attachment at the wall. Somehow we've got to move this clay out and up in the same way that we made the floor come up, right? So we're going to start with a flat surface and we need to build a coil out of that. All the clay of the opening can be moved into a coil to start your appendage. I want the appendage to come out here, okay? So if I'm going to bring the appendage out here like this, I have all of this, this is the wall's thickness, right? I have all of this clay that's going away somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Normally, we cut it out, cut the hole, add the coil, yes? Instead, if we take and throw this clay and take all of this clay and deposit it there and there in the circle around it, in the same way that we close the opening, we took our pot, right, that had two walls thicknesses, and we took this wall thickness and we laid these down and sealed them together here so that our pot ended up like this, right? So we took, we made the clay that we needed to lay down to fill the gap, to fill the opening. <coughs> and we're going to now take the clay that's already in the wall, in the opening, and we're going to lift it up and put it back into the a coil. Okay? So we're doing just the opposite of what we did to lay it down. I'm going to say, here's the area that I want the appendage to be. And this is my wall's thickness. And this is the center of that opening. So on the other one we are visualizing the center of the opening. On this one we're finding it because that's where the hole's going to be. On the inside I'm going to find the inside center of the opening. I always go from the inside out because we want the coil on the outside, right? So you're moving from the opposite wall. So I'm finding the center of my opening, and then I'm finding the position on the inside. It's the inside that does the work and the outside that holds stable. So this hand isn't doing anything except staying there and saying, uh-uh, Clay, you don't come here. Go to the coil. So the finger is on the outside, and I'm going to begin on the inside. Finger in the center of the coil. See what's happening? The coil is moving outward. Now, the outside hand is going to begin to help out. I'm now going to take those high points that are being pushed out. I'm still pushing out with the inside hand. But I'm going to begin to seal this coil and do it around as evenly as you can. Work together. And urge that clay outward. And I'm telling it, don't go any further than this. Catching any high points that I need to catch. I'm building up the thickness of the wall. Now, depending on how big I need to make it, I could take this bigger if I need it. Let's make it a little bigger. Now, don't let it come to a peak. Keep controlling your high points and thickening that wall because you want it to be equal thickness to the wall. So down here, I need a little more clay. Notice how my finger, my hand is holding at the edge of where I wanted the diameter of this coil to be. Okay. Look, I'm 
pretty good. Ready to add a coil on the surface. <coughs> Can you see that inside there? Actually, yeah. that's great for, to do that so we can see what you're doing on the inside of the pot. <laughs> right. And, and after we get this coil on, do you see I'm using my thumb as my outside? Now, sometimes you can't see in there, but do you see what my finger's doing? I'm beginning to seal that transition. And there you go. Clean up your coils and get ready to add another. Make sure you seal the coil and the transition. That's what gives you a little bit of strengthening. Don't leave any high points right in this area. You saw they looked, when I first added the coil, was that little high point like on the bottom of your pot, on the floor? <coughs> Seal it over and take the next step. If I turn it, I can get all the way around. The beauty of an appendage is you can get inside and outside to seal. You can't get through the floor on your other pieces. Okay. And then you begin to shape and decide how you want the appendage to move and if you get it long enough, you might need a rivet to hold it up. Seal your surface a little bit. Make sure it's nice and even. All right, you have to see the last bit before we uh, end this here. I'm going to cut this off for you. I guess I'll cut it down sideways. See how this looks. Okay, that's what you're after. Okay, equal thickness and no sign of the attachment because there was no attachment at the transition. Really important, really strong way to add an appendage.